Okay, Aeroflug Aviation Tutorials, we're looking at air pressure today. Let's start with a drawing of the Earth and the air above it. And we know that as we move up from the Earth towards space, the air pressure gets less and less. And for our calculations, let's look at some glossary terms. The first one is altitude, which is a, a measure of your height above mean sea level. We measure that by means of the Q&H. Now the Q&H comes from a code called the Q code which was developed approximately 100 years ago in the days of uh, early radio, and it was a, a way to simplify communications. Our second one we're going to look at is the height above ground level, QFE. The third one is the pressure altitude. Pressure is measured in terms of hectopascals, and they are replaced in the old measurement, which was millibars. Pressure altitude is the height above the 1013.2 hectopascal pressure line. For ease of explanation, we are just going to refer to it as 1013 hectopascals and we'll even drop the hectopascal. The Q code reference for 1013 is QNE. Now, what is the 1013 hectopascal? pressure reference mean. Now that comes from the ISA standard pressure at sea level which is 1013.2 hectopascals. ISA being the international standard atmosphere uh, pressure. Let's assume an example here now to put that all in context. We have our three datums. The first one we're going to look at is the datum which is measured from sea level and we call that altitude. The second one is height measured above ground level. And the third one is our pressure altitude measured from the 1013 datum. We are flying at an altitude of 5,000 feet. And we'll use a Q&H of 1025 Right, now we want to do our calculation, we want to find the height of the pressure altitude. So in order to do that, we first have to find out the difference between the 1013 pressure level and mean sea level. So the calculation is worked on approximately 30 feet per 1 hectopascal difference. So let us take our Q&H of 1025 at sea level and the pressure level of 1013, and we can see the difference is 12 millibars uh, hectopascals times 30 equals 360 feet. So this height here of the pressure level is 360 feet above sea level. Now, in order to get the answer of what the actual pressure altitude of this place is, we need to subtract, obviously, our 5,000 feet minus the 360 and we'll get an answer of 4,640 feet. So our pressure altitude is 4,640 feet. Okay, all right, let's do an example now and we'll draw our mean sea level and our elevation. And today we'll use at mean sea level a Q&H of 1005 and we can see then if the sea level pressure is 1005 it stands to reason that 1013 must be lower because the air is denser the lower you go. So in this case, for the purposes of our calculation, 1013 hectopascals is below sea level. We are trying to establish what our pressure altitude is going to be in this example. One hectopascal will equal 30 feet. So we can see there's a difference between 1013 and 005 of 8 hectopascals times 30 equals 240 feet. Uh, we now have a difference of 240 feet, except that the 240 feet has to now be added to the 5,000 feet to find out what the pressure altitude is. So in this case, you can see that the answer will be 5,240 feet pressure altitude. Thanks for watching. I hope this has cleared up any problem areas 
and enjoy your calculations from Ereflech. <laughs>